So the Kato Star Chase is next in. And this is a three mile grade three. And the top one is Admiral Bing from Graham Clutterbuck. Battle of the Woodland, Joshua Sutherland, Midnight Fantasy, David Robertson, Spanish Steps, Martin Lidham, Aero Love, Molly Et Surfer, Aero Murta, also from Molly Et Surfer, Argyle Gate for Jim Murray, Ear to the Grand, Paul Rhodes, Moonlit for Carla Aganti, Rambling Oats for John Morgan, and Shades of Pain for Leon Van Rensburg. So 11 then in this race, named after Kato Star, Quarto Star, whatever you prefer to say. It changed halfway through his career, didn't it, as they come down towards the first. And we've lost one already, and it's Spanish Step. So that's my horse out of the race at the very first fence. And um, nowhere near as good as the real Spanish Steps was in the 70s. They take the second, and that's the first ditch. And we've lost another one. Shades of Pain has gone as well. So it's two out and two fences. We've got 17 more fences to take, and we haven't got 17 horses left. So let's hope that doesn't continue. Otherwise be commentating on grass and it's rambling oats in the lead by about five lengths to moonlit in second and here to the ground is next then aero love and battle of the woodland with midnight fantasy and the yellow cap in the middle of the field two on the surf horses the one to the four is aero love the one at the back is aero murta as they come to the next one is a plain fence and this time they'll also have to get over it with the rambling oats clear by Four or five, an ominous sight for the rest of the trainers in this race is a John Morgan horse already five lengths clear. Difficult to pass those. And Moonlit is the one doing the chasing in second at the moment. A similar length gap back to the third placed horse, Ears of the Ground. And Battle of the Woodland is next as they take that ditch. And they're all over that one with Jim Murray's horse, Argyle Gate. Now just relegated to the back of the field, but there's still an awful long way to go. And plenty of jumping still to be done. And Rambling Oats is clear by four or five lengths. Jumps that one nicely slower. Jump by the horse in second. Moonlit. And the ear to the ground is third. Aero Murtis on the inside of Midnight Fantasy with Aero Love on that one's outside. And the back three are Admiral Bing. Battle of the Woodland. And we've got the inside rail and Argyle Gate. Just between the two of them. So just two miles left to race then. And... Rambling Oats is going to try and make every post a winning one. Leads by five to Moonlit in second. Here to the ground third, then the Molly at Surf appear virtually together. Midnight Fantasy behind them as they take this plain one. And all safely over that one. Coming there down the straight. See they're down shortly. There's the car park, all the bus trips and everything as they skip over the eighth. And all safely over that one with Rambling Oats in front. Oats then, I don't know what will be the last on the next circuit. Uh, a mistake at the back there by Admiral Bing. The crowd is somewhat spartan. Everybody appears to have gone indoors to watch it on the TV. As they pass the winning post then with a full circuit to go. Rambling Oats is the leader. Moonlit is in second and here to the ground is third. Aero, Mercer and Aero love together. Then Battle of the Woodland with Midnight Fantasy and Argyle Gate together. And now Admiral Bing is the one who's just finding the place a little bit hot. Tricky little getting a bit of a breather into that one maybe as they go off on this circuit and over the water they go and all safely over that with the rambling oats lead cut down to about two now as moonlit tries to get a little bit closer come down to the next one as a play one moonlit get a mistake just as he was starting to go well and that's going to be a problem for that one if he's going to keep whacking fences and giving ground away come down to this ditch and over it they go. Oh, he's gone. Another fell fall of their arrow. murta has gone. Thought it was moonlit for a second, but the jockey's wedged in the fence. And that's one of the Molliet surfer horses out of the race. And three gone now then. And Rambling Oats is the leader. To Moonlit in second. Then here to the ground. Then Battle of the Woodland. And a gap to Aero Love Midnight Fantasy. And Argyle Gate. Admiral Bing is just the back marker being preceded by a loose horse. And it's Rambling Oats by a length to the sloppily jumping Moonlit in second. And here to the ground is third. Over this next one they go. A mistake this time by here to the ground. And two of these not giving themselves a lot of chances. As they come down towards the next. And Rambling Oats is out jumped this time by Moonlit. So Moonlit's got his act together. Aero Love made a mistake. It's Moonlit in the lead. Rambling Oats is second. Then a gap to Ear to the Ground and Battle of the Woodland. Then Midnight Fantasy. Aero Love and Argyle Gate. I think we can forget Admiral Bing. 
As they make their way towards the next, you can see they stand in the distance over the big ditch they go. They all jump that one okay. And Rambling Oats has gone back into the lead again. Moonlit is second. Battle of the Woodland is third. Then comes Midnight Fantasy four. Here to the ground is five. Aero Love is six. Argyle Gate is seven. And Admiral brings out a shot. Another mistake by Moonlit. And now Rambling Oats has gone for home. Still four four minutes to go, but he's gone for home, I think. He's five clear. Battle of the Woodland is trying to chase Midnight Fantasy in the to the ground. Also trying to run on. Moonlit looks as though he might be trying to get a second and wind but it's rambling out who's clear but the lead is now down to two lengths and battle of the woodland looks a big challenger in second rambling out jockey sending out a few distress signals giving him a bit of a backhander it's rambling out in the lead but here comes battle of the woodland battle of the woodland looms on the outside battle of the woodland takes it up two furlongs to go at this third last, and over that they go, Battle of the Woodland in the lead. Rambling Oaks looks beaten, ear to the ground, trying to run on, but this looks like Battle of the Woodland. If he can get over the last two, he should win. It's Battle of the Woodland over the second last, jumps it well, gets away from it well. Suddenly Rambling Oaks starts to run on again. Down towards the final fence in the Kato Star, and up to the last, and the leader gets over it well. Battle of the Woodland is pulling away, and Battle of the Woodland is going to take this one pretty impressively. Up towards the line, Battle of the Woodland wins it there, well strung out like Washington. It's Battle of the Woodland, the winner. Rambling Oaks is second long. Gap back to the edge of the ground field, then Argon Gale was after that one in Midnight Fantasy Moonlit Hero. Love was the last one to finish. And Battle of the Woodland for Joshua Sutherland takes it pretty comfortably in the end. Rambling Oaks for John Morgan second. Here to the ground, Paul Rose third. Argyle Gate for Jim Warrior was fourth. And Midnight Fantasy for David Robertson was fifth.